Hey, what's good, YouTube? Nath Mass Collector back with another Master of the Universe figure review. So today we got Prince Adam, and um, I got some different versions here um, that I have available. And so this one here is obviously this is the original um, Prince Adam. I do not have his. I think I still have his sword somewhere, um, the pink sword. And then, but I do not have his tunic anymore. I don't know where that went, but um, I mean, this was my original Prince Adam from when I was a kid, so still have him. Um, have this version. And then this one here is the Super 7 version, the Laughing Prince Adam. It was like a limited release they did. Um, the last year that they did these figures, I think, is when, they, when this guy came out. Um, power sword is uh, pink um, his feet are really kind of loose like his uh, hips are but uh, otherwise pretty cool the sword fits in his hand really nicely fits in his back really well um, I think you can probably pick this laughing Prince Adam up you know probably 50 or 60 bucks I'm assuming on eBay I think they're pretty abundant out there that's that one and then this one here is the super seven um five and a half inch filmation version they put out it's 2019 so you can take a look at that art back there you know this is total filmation type style um for sure just that Tila bitching at Prince Adam for being lazy or something. Hanging out fishing with Cringer. Um, got the rest of the figures that came out. So Orko and that wave, I think it was Prince Adam and Orko and some of these other folks down here. But we're going to open this guy up as well. And then the last one I have is the uh, the Origins Sky Sled and Prince Adam Combo Pack. So this one here I actually got at Walmart a long time ago, but I recently picked up a bunch of these for like 13 bucks a piece from Target. So they're having a big sale and it's going on right now still. So if you guys are looking at getting extra Sky Sleds just for your collection for armies or whatever you want to do. It's a great opportunity to pick up a bunch of extra figures and Sky Sleds and also with you know Pretty much make your own customs people are doing it with everything so if you wanted to make a faker Prince Adam or you know just having the, the extra arms and legs and just to kind of mix and mash some guys up you can do that too so um, but we're going to open up this one up and take a look at it as well. Uh, artwork on this one is amazing as well. Beautiful artwork. It's trap jaw, man at arms, Skeletor, Beast Man. Got a Castle Grey Skull back there. And the Wind Raider, I think, is this one over here. Yep. That's coming out pretty soon too. So yeah, this is pretty much just wave one, right? So um, even the the art on this too is great too. It's a trap jaw faker. Um, this will be awesome. The roto mobile thing that Skeletor's on. Wind waiter, wind wind waiter, wind raider, and. Uh, yeah, that's cool. All right, so let's just open up uh, Prince Adam out of uh, the Super 7. Um, the card backs on these are great. Super 7 ones are really nice, and I mean, they're totally geared toward the, uh, toward the collector for sure. So, but I think I have... Uh, multiples of this and even if I don't that's no big deal I'm not really in the holding on to hoarding stuff anymore <clears throat> so 
So we'll take a look at his card that he comes with. Formation style, toy to tune. Prince Anna first appeared in the comic book miniseries. The initial conceptual illustration for animation saw him look a lot like his comic book counterpart. So remember he had the blue, blue on. Um, in stark contrast, the He-Man Prince Adam would later be redesigned, sporting royal pastel colors. So, like that. Um, the cool thing about Super 7's version here is that you get a full power sword. It's not a half E or anything. So that's really, really nice that they do that. Um, however, I guess it doesn't, wow, this thing's stiff. Woo. It's a really tight figure. Um, he holds on to his sword. Okay. I guess, um, it's kind of limp. Like it's a little on the loose side. Like if, if this thing on this outside, this handle, if that wasn't there, there's no way this thing would even stay on here, but it needs to be just a little bit thicker, but you know, that's good. It's got a little different head sculpt on it than like the original, obviously, when you compare these two together, you know, it's definitely got more of a filmation sculpt hairstyle. No doubt about that. Uh, the colors though on the feet, the the fur, his leggings and and everything look pretty almost identical. Like there's not a whole lot of difference there at all. So they did a pretty good job matching the colors using the same colors. Um, but yeah, looks cool. And then we'll open up this sky sled. Whoops. <laughs> All right, I'll pop his body back on. All right, cool. All right, so first let's just take a look at Prince Adam. All right, so, you know, definitely have Pretty similar colors from the waist down, but his uh, vest or tunic or whatever you want to call it is definitely more of a brighter fluorescent kind of looking pink to it. It's kind of like a fuchsia type of color, which is nice. You know, it's kind of differentiates it from these guys a little bit more bright and in your face you know maybe that's kind of like that and based on the other the other figures like trap jaw and everybody i mean they, they definitely went bright um for those colors uh let's see here so full power sword pink one which is nice it actually sits in his hand pretty well no issues there um same articulation with like just like the other figures right so the head moves around up and down uh shoulders up and around back his uh elbows and his wrist um i'm always trying to be careful with these guys just because i know um people have had reports or have said that uh you know some of their the joints just kind of snap but uh I haven't seen anything yet. Waist moves around, knees, uh, twist on the shin, and then you know you got that ball socket and articulation at the heel as well for all kinds of cool poses that these guys can do. That's why I love these figures. It's just all the articulation. This is so so rad. Um, do so many different things with them. So. <clears throat> Really cool. Um, 
figures. These are pretty much my daughter's that she plays with. Not the original, but these I just throw in her uh, Master of the Universe bucket now. She's got a little wall. <laughs> we opened up Castle Grayskull a few weeks ago. The new one. So yeah, I mean overall I think, uh, you know, all these figures are great. Um, you know, I, I do quite partial to the, the Filmation version just because it's such a more realistic figure to the cartoon. I like that a lot. Um, I do like these Super 7 figures just because it's more of the Filmation's colors and look to it, but it's the same original OG, you know, five points of articulation, basically the head, the arms, and the legs, um, and that's it. It's more of a display piece than anything now for me anyways, but again, like my daughter plays with this stuff now, so she, she doesn't care. She just likes it, the fact that there's multiples of them. So... And then the origin ones. Um, I do like all the articulation points for sure. The sculpt on the head, you know, it's all right. But um, I like the original He-Man sculpt head better. Um, and I know I'll have more of those coming, like from the uh, battle armor He-Mans and things like that too, with the extra heads. And I think that there's actually a new, a new version coming out where it's like battle armor, battle damaged. Battle Cat and He-Man combo pack where um, it's the older head sculpt, I believe. Let's see if I can find a picture for you guys on that one. But yeah, that's cool. So I do dig these origin figures though. Okay, so now Sky Sled. Um, I've never owned one. I do have the uh, Classics version in the box still. I haven't never, never opened it up, but um, Guessing that you just stay in there. Okay, so what it has here are these different parts. So basically what it's saying is that you can make the sky sled into a war sled for the evil warriors, or you can keep it as um, just the regular sky sled for the heroic warriors which makes sense so um right now it is in heroic sky sled mode right here um you can take this blaster thing and you can stick it on the end there like it's shooting which is really neat um otherwise let's see here so it says here we just pop off the uh the head and you interchange it with this dude, the snake head looks like. Put that on there. And then, um, let's see here. And these you can just, just pull right off the sides. And then you replace them with, with this. And then that's your uh, war sled version instead of a sky sled version. That's neat. I did not even realize that was in there until just now. So that's cool. Um, let's see if we can put a figure on this bad boy. So that's cool. Did not know that. Let's put this blaster back in. Um, here's the stand. And I'm assuming we just snap it into place. snaps into there and then put that down there yeah, so that's pretty it's pretty rad uh, it's a great display piece though holy cow so let's try this bad boy out here and it's got the holes for the, the feet, I'm assuming that's what it's for. Seems like it falls right in there. All right, let's get Prince Adam's 
grippers. Hold on to these bad boys. thing is really neat I mean this is a cool vehicle uh, the guns come out I think oh, they don't rotate I thought maybe these rotated a little bit but they don't but the uh, the cannon on top here does definitely rotate now, obviously you can put this in and out you can use a pretty cool stop animation for that if you guys are into that stuff um, really like the fact that you can you know change the stuff out to make it a good Sky sled or the evil war sled options there. That's really neat. Um, the figure fits in here perfectly. Got a really good grip on the handles. Um, and uh, I think it just looks awesome. I mean, it's a perfect size. It's not super huge, but um, it's cool that it comes with a stand and it, you know, it looks like it's flying, which is really neat. Um, Definitely some different spots where you can, you know, different degrees that it can hold up. But yeah, really neat. So I'm pretty impressed with this thing. I'm, I'm glad I bought more of these, you know, for $13 that you can get them for right now, man. It's a steal compared to considering what you get for this thing. You know, I get a figure and a vehicle for, you know, that's six bucks a piece. This thing has done really well. So, awesome. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna, got a lot more figures I got to review and unbox. And I figure I might as well get those things done here. They're starting to pile up. I've been so busy with some of the other things that I've been doing lately that just kind of uh, got behind on these things. But um, really cool. So, guys, you got any questions about anything? Please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you have a if you have a preferred version or um, if you like the OG filmation, all kinds of different options we got here now for for all the collectors and people that play with these. That's awesome. So, uh, appreciate you guys again. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please do so. That would be great. Um, also, hit that like button. If you enjoyed the content and then hit the bell for notifications uh, when I drop new videos and we'll see you in the next review. All right, man. Later. Thanks.